Okay, so who's heard of the Research Excellence Framework? Uh, yay, yeah, those people. Uh, so this is the way that we notionally measure the quality of research in the UK. What does that mean? Good question. Not what I'm going to be talking about in my lightning talk. Um, what I am going to be talking about is the fact that for such a huge exercise that draws in um, 50,000 researchers, what's this, nearly 200,000 research outputs, 7,000 impact case studies, software barely gets a mention. Um, there were 38 outputs, software outputs referenced in REF 2014. Uh, why? And also, why so few outputs from the traditional sciences, which we know that um, produce a lot of software? Most of the outputs that are recognized in the REF submissions, you can look through all of them, they're all on the links at the bottom, are from the arts and humanities, the social sciences, and so on. Is it because we don't know how to submit software into the REF? It's a good question. There's lots more case studies, um, so there's about 1,000 software-related impact case studies, but it's really hard to track the software there, because they mostly talk about its exploitation in industry, the formation of a spin-out. What they don't do is give us a way of understanding what software has been produced as part of research. But it's all okay, because there is a review that's going on right now, the Stern Review of Rep. Annoyingly, the deadline is this Thursday, but you can have your say. If you're interested in, in contributing to changes for REF 2020, not just around software, but around anything you think needs to be changed in the way that we measure research today, submit to the REF review. Yep. And you'll see that the second link there is a video link <coughs> to SSI REF review. If you'd like to contribute to the response that's going on from the Institute, Put in your comments there, and uh, yes, you could do this in that thing, that thing as well. But uh, that's what I want to say. If you're interested in the data, you can get it all from there. It's in a terrible format for mining, but if you like working with 100,000 line Excel spreadsheets, that is where you want to be. <laughs>